I really hit the bullseye with this target update. Hey guys, Joe here, and today I'm really excited to introduce you to Target 2.0. It is a really powerful, wonderful update to a classic stack. And I'm really excited to say that all existing users is gonna be a free update for everyone. And uh, so everyone's gonna be able to enjoy the amazing new features uh, in Target 2.0. Now, I started from scratch with Target, and I really wanted to reevaluate how the stack was used, and I wanted to make it easier. So I think I nailed it. Uh, this stack is not only easier to use, it has a lot more features. Um, and uh, let's dive in and see exactly all the really cool, amazing things that we can do now. So here we are inside the target demo file that now ships with the target stack. And uh, this demo file, I've put a lot of work and effort into this to really help you detail to understand everything. And so what you'll notice is if hopefully you're using my free pen stack, and I've used Pen to really take detailed notes about each and every implementation of Target to kind of give you an idea of what's going on with this stack, how to configure it and do everything. So this demo file is a really great resource for learning how to use Target. So what we'll notice is when we add Target to the page, it looks a lot different now. We see that we have two drop zone areas. We have background content and the Target content. And essentially what this does is it really allows us a simpler way of getting content and targeting it above other content. So what I've done is I've added an image to the background content and then in the target content, I've added a header. Now by default, what happens is target will position this on top of the image and it will center it for us. And if we preview, you'll see that out of the box, target has done exactly what I wanted. And I just wanted a simple header on top of my image. That's exactly what target does. This version of Target has a lot of pre-built position settings for all the most commonly used positions that you're gonna to want to use with Target. So we saw how easy it was to center our text on top of an image. And then here we can use those custom position settings that I talked about earlier, where we can actually choose the exact position that you want your content to be overlaid on top of this image. And you can add as many of these as you want. Here's an example where I have six different things overlaid. We have five points and then I have this text that's overlaid at a specific location, and it's also even rotated. So as you see, Target really gives us a lot of flexibility to position our content exactly where we want in our layouts. Now here's an example of how we can use Target's pin to location settings to really pin our content to the edge of the browsers. So here we're at the top, we pinning a full width content to the top. Here we're actually pinning stuff to the sides of the, of the browser. And we can also pin at the bottom. If you notice, this example also has a shadow. To go even further, if you use these pin settings, we actually have hide on scroll enabled in Target as well. So when you scroll down the page, your Target content can, can actually be hidden and go away from the content. And when you start scrolling back up, it comes back. Very cool. Target's new shift options allow you to shift content to overlay it on top of your other content. So here, an example of this header and image, I'm actually shifting a piece of content up so that it overlays the image by half. This is a very popular layout that we've seen all across the web, and it couldn't be easier to accomplish with Target. Target's new float option is really great in that it allows you to float fixed width or variable width content so that it goes right up next to each other. This works really great for buttons and social sharing links. Target now also integrates it directly with call to action so that you can actually display your target content as a call to action trigger. You can display your target content based on a call to action trigger. In this example, we're actually just displaying the target on page load. We have a lot of different situations and you know, flexibility with call to action to really launch and display specialized content um, under certain situations using call to action. Now targets conditional settings are really powerful because they allow us to only target our content under certain situations. In this example here, we see that we have a target pinned to the bottom of the browser, but it's only pinned to the bottom because the content of the actual web page is smaller than the height of the browser window. 
If we shrink the height of the browser window, you'll notice that target isn't there. And the reason for that is because it is now a part of the page content because this is actually an okay thing. Now, if you've ever used my video wall stack, you'll notice that it is a really great feature for when you, the video scrolls out of the page, you can actually just dock it onto the side of the browser window. We now have this feature built directly into target and you can do this with anything that you'd like. So as we notice, as I scroll down the page, once this image scrolls out of the viewport, we'll notice that it is targeted and is now displayed on the side of my window. And as we scroll back up, you'll notice that the image is re put back into position directly onto the web page. And lastly, we have the ability to customize our target positions based on breakpoints. So if I move to a mobile layout, we'll notice that the breakpoint position changed from the top left to the bottom right. And then this target on mobile went from below the actual title of the page to be docked at the top of the window. So we have a lot of control in terms of breakpoints on when to target content and when not to. So as you see, this is a really powerful update to target. It's a great update that gives us a lot of new features and the stack is so much easier to use. Now make sure you check out the demo project and look at all the notes that we've made inside those pen stacks so that you know exactly how each and every demo um, example was done. Uh, this will really help you uh, gain more knowledge about how to use target in various situations so that you can really use a target to its fullest. It really is the best and most powerful positioning tool out there, especially with this new version. It gives us a lot of power to do anything that we want really, really simply. So take care. Hope you enjoy target and we'll talk to you soon.